Hey players, this is EMC. I am inside of a glacier uh, where there's a crazy old man in a crazy Dwemer contraption. I'm here because I want another Daedric artifact and it happens to be locked inside of this contraption. And uh, this guy here is trying to open it. So we're going to help him open it and get our artifact. Ah, the ice entombs the heart. The bane of Kagranak and Degothur. To harness it is to know the fundaments. The Dwemer lockbox hides it from me. The Elder Scroll gives insight deeper than the Deep Ones, though, to bring about the opening. Um, did you say that you had an Elder Scroll here? I have seen enough to know their fabric, the warp of air, the weft of time. But no, it is not in my possession. Okay, uh, so where is it? Here. Well, here as in this plain, Mondas, Tamriel, nearby, relatively speaking. <laughs> On the cosmological scale, it's all nearby. Oh my gods. Don't make me hurt you, old man. One block lifts the other. Septimus will give what you want, but you must bring him something in return. Mm -hmm. What do you want? You see this masterwork of the Dwemer, deep inside their greatest knowings. Septimus is clever among men. But he is but an idiot child compared to the dullest of the Dwemer. Lucky then they left behind their own way of reading the Elder Scrolls. In the depths of Black Reach, one yet lies. Have you heard of Black Reach? Cast upon where Drimmer City slept, the yearning spire hidden learnings kept. <laughs> Where's Blackreach? Under deep, below the dark, the hidden keep, Tower Mzark. Oftan, the point of puncture, a first entry of the tapping. Delve to its limits, and Blackreach lies just beyond. But not all can enter there. Only Septimus knows the hidden key to loose the lock to jump beneath the deathly rock. Okay, how do I get in? Two things I have for you. Two shapes. One edged, one round. The round one for tuning. Dwemer music is soft and subtle and needed to open their cleverest gates. The edged lexicon or inscribing. To us, a hunk of metal. To the Dwemer, a full library of knowings, but empty. Find Mazark and its sky dome. The machinations there will read the scroll and lay the lore upon the cube. Trust Septimus. He knows you can know. Okay, um, what do you want with an Elder Scroll? Ooh, an observant one. How clever to ask of Septimus. This Dwemer lockbox, look upon it and wonder. Inside is the heart, the heart of a god, the heart of you and me. But it was hidden away. Not by the dwarves, you see. They were already gone. Someone else, uh, unseen, unknown, found the heart, and with a flair for the ironical, used dwarven trickery to lock it away. The scroll will give the deep vision needed to open it. For not even the strongest machinations of the Dwemer can hold off the all-sight given by an Elder Scroll. So Septimus wants us to go to Blackreach, which is accessed through um, 
any of three different Dwemer ruins. Uh, he's given us a map marker to Alfdend. And it's as simple to go through that one as it is to go through any other. But Dwemer ruins are really long and complicated and um, in order to make this video not an hour, uh, I'm not going to go through the Dwemer ruin. Um, at the end, after you have cleared out the ruin, there will be a Dwarven mechanism that you put your little attuning spear into. And it will open a stairway that leads to Blackreach. So once you're in Blackreach, you need to find the Tower of Mazark. And uh, that is where the Elder Scroll will be. So I'm going to meet you at the Tower of Mazark. So here we are in crazy Dwemer land. <laughs> Blackreach. It's, uh, it's pretty amazing. Um, it's, uh, big, really big, and, uh, yeah, too big to really, uh, get caught up in to, uh, talk about this video, <laughs> but this here is what you're looking for. This is the Tower of Mazark. It'll have a great big golden, uh, uh, centurion head on it. So let's get in there and get our Elder Scroll. Here's the lift to the Tower of Mazark. So once you get inside, there's a room that has a whole bunch of cluttery loot. Some books, some uh, chests, uh, even a little backpack. It looks like somebody had a camp here. So there's plenty of good stuff to collect. But in here, this is what we came for. Giant spherical mechanism. And our Elder Scroll is contained within. We just need to figure out how to get it out of there. Oh boy. Um, if you come over here. <laughs> you find a skeleton that used to be a person named Droked. And uh, he has a journal. This journal is supposed to give you a clue, but I don't find it all that helpful. Um, it basically says that uh, he was going to stay here until he figured out how to make this thing work and died trying. But... I happen to know how it works, so you don't have to sit here and die trying. So up here you have a control panel, very mysterious, and a place to put your lexicon. So once you do that, it all starts up. So very simply, what you want to do is push this pillar right here, the second one on the right, push it about four times. And then you'll see that the lexicon is starting to record and this pillar just lit up. So push this pillar twice.
and you'll see all those lenses have gone into place and light is hitting everything just so. And this pillar has slid up. So push that one once. Yay! <laughs> How cool is that? <laughs> oh, beautiful. Now, the Elder Scroll has been transcribed onto the lexicon. Do not forget to take the lexicon. That needs to go back to Septimus. And you go get yourself an Elder Scroll. Because without it, you can't defeat Alduin. Once that is done, simply pirouette. Behind you is the way out. This is the exit. And you are now on the surface of the Tower of Mazark. Flip the switch to open it up. And you're out! Out of Blackreach, into Skyrim, into the fresh, cold air. Oh, what a relief. So now that you're free from, <laughs> from Dwemer World, take your lexicon back to Septimus. Hey, Septimus, I got you a lexicon with an Elder Scroll on it. Give it, quickly. Here you go. Extraordinary. I see it now. The ceiling structure interlocks in the tiniest fractals. Dwemer blood can loose the hooks, but none alive remain to bear it. A panoply of their brethren could gather to form a facsimile. A trick. Something they did not anticipate. No, not even them. The blood of Altmer, Bosmer, Dunmer, Falmer, and Orsimer. The elves still living provide the key. Bear you hence this extractor. It will drink the fresh blood of elves. Come when its set is complete. Ah. Uh, okay. <laughs> I have to go murder a bunch of elves and harvest their blood. Uh, why are you so eager to open this box here? Ah, the box contains the heart. Ah, the essence of a god. I have devoted my life to the Elder Scrolls, but their knowledge is a passing awareness when compared to the encompassing mind of divinity. The Dwemer were the last to touch it. It was thought to have been destroyed by the Nerevarine, but my lord told me otherwise. Your lord? Uh, who is that? The Daedric Prince of the Unknown, Hermaeus Mora. I thought there were no secrets left to know until I first spoke to him. He asked surprise. To work his will. A few murders, some dissent spread, a plague or two. For the secrets I can endure. In time, he brought me here to the box. But he won't reveal how to open it. Maddening. Oh, man. So, Hermaeus Mora's. Daedric artifact is locked inside of this box. No one knows how it got inside of this box. The Dwemer did not put it inside of the box. They were already gone by then. Um, but I don't even think uh, Hermaeus Mora knows how to get uh, his artifact out of the box. And that is why Septimus is here. So... 
Apparently, an Elder Scroll was not enough to open the damn box. We have to go collect blood from every living elven race uh, to use as some sort of uh, oil in the lock, apparently. So, we're going to have to go do that. Oh, boy. All right. Well, we better get to it. That sounds like a job. Here we go. We're going to go get some, get us some elf blood. Oh. What the hell is that? Um. Hey, wretched abyss, you're in my way. Hey, um. Come closer. Bashed in my presence. Oh, crap. Uh, who are you? I am Hermaeus Mora. I am the guardian of the unseen and knower of the unknown. I have been watching you, mortal. Most impressive. Wow, well... Thanks, I think. Um, what do you want? Your continuing aid to Septimus renders him increasingly obsolete. He has served me well, but his time is nearing its end. Once that infernal lockbox is opened, he will have exhausted his usefulness to me. When that time comes, you shall take his place as my emissary. What say you? I say yes. Indeed. Speak with me when the box has been opened and all shall be revealed. Wow. Uh, that was Hermaeus Mora. He wants us to be his champion. Everybody wants us to be his champion. So, uh, wow. All right. Uh, let's go, uh, murder us some elves, shall we? Hey, Septimus, I brought you the blood you require. I can almost hear them. Me too. I feel their life energy. Come, I will make the mixture. Yeah, do that. Do it, do it, do it. Do it, do it. Open it, open it, open it, open it. Oh, yeah. Look at that! What is this? It's... it's just a book. I can... Oh, no! Septimus! Oh, Septimus! Oh, he's got our essence extractor. Not much else, but who cares? Because this is our artifact, the Agma Infinium, the one of the bestest artifacts ever. Look at this thing. Oh man, it is beautiful. And what this thing does is it will increase one of the three play styles, either warrior, mage, or thief. It will increase all of the skills in one of those three schools. Um, I already have all of my skills topped out, so it's not asking me if I want to improve my skills. Otherwise, it would. Ugh got it and we're done 
Uh, I can hear him. I can hear Hermes. There he is. The wretched abyss. Come, my champion. Oh, what now? Now, you have my Agma Infinium. It contains the knowledge of the ages, as revealed to Sarsis, my loyal servant. For hundreds of years, it's been shut away from the world. Septimus was a useful tool for unleashing it. Now, it is in your hands. Let us work wonders together. Indeed. Well, I'm kind of a fan of Hermaeus Mora. Um, I'm not sure why. He's a very strange Daedra. But, um, of course, as you all probably know, he is a major player in the DLC Dragonborn, which I still haven't gotten because I PC. But uh, it's January now, and very soon I expect that thing to be in my hands. Well, not literally in my hands, but in my Steam library. So, oh, I can't wait. So anyways, poor uh, Septimus is gone. Uh, you got yourself an iceberg with an open Dwemer box, and he has uh, quite a nice library um, with, with lots of things about the Elder Scrolls. Wow, that was a long, strange trip. But uh, I will see you at the next video on another Daedric Artifact. So until then, have fun exploring Skyrim, and I will see you soon. Hey players, this is EMC, and look what I found! I found a stray dog! I have never found a stray dog before, ex you know, except for Miko. Um, and I found him out in the hell of this blizzard uh, on, this, on the coast of the Sea of Ghosts. Nothing around but trolls and wolves. And uh, he decided I was his person. <laughs> And he's been following me ever since. I never even had to tell him that, okay, come with me, boy, that dialogue stuff. No. He just decided, I'm following you. So, here he is. And, uh, I... Look at me. Woo! This is Sadie, and she's a Khajiit. Look how cool she looks. Wowzers. So, cats and dogs living together. It's the end of the world, I tell you. Um, I made this new tune because um, I always take this shortcut, being the terrible cheater that I am. I always uh, toggle map markers on. Uh, it's a console code you can use on the PC where you TMM space and a 1 will toggle all the map markers onto your map very convenient but I discovered something recently I discovered I didn't have the achievement for Explorer which is uh, given to you when you've explored a hundred places um, I have been to way more than a hundred places in Skyrim and I couldn't believe that I didn't have that achievement and then I realized that it was probably because I had turned on map markers and when you do that they are probably all just discovered so when you come upon them you don't discover them there you go don't do that I guess for at least the achievement I wanted to know if I could get to this place without using a map marker um, and it was hard it was really, really hard. It took me quite a long time to find it. Uh, you can't see it, but over there is the College of Winterhold, and you can almost see the Shrine to Azora. Uh, let me bring up my map. My unmap-markered map. 
as you can see. I haven't even discovered very many places. So here's the shrine to Azura. Here's Winterhold. Yskrimor's tomb. Here is the wreck of the Pride of Telvas. And here is Septimus Cygnus outpost. Um, so it is way, way out here on an iceberg in the middle of the Sea of Ghosts. So if you go looking for this without a map marker, you want to go due north of Winterhold and a little bit east. <laughs> 